Antoine Kumbare aimed to try and continue the great escape with Dijon. The Mustard men knowing it was all on the line against Toulouse. The keep called Kumbare and Roland Corbes at Caen, the Ligue 1 Conferama firemen looking to save Dijon and Caen respectively. And Dijon had to win and hope the Normans didn't to earn a two-legged playoff to try and win top flight redemption. The hosts though were sloppy and lethargic from the off. Runa Alex Renarsen with a terrific save early on to deny Aaron Lea Eseka. To lose where the club left in the relegation playoff last season, but after overcoming Lorient, the Purples may only be one point better off, yet three places higher than 12 months ago to secure safety. And despite nothing to play for, Alan Casanova's men showed admirable fight, and it brought them the opening goal. Bafode Diakite, just 19 years old, the left back, smashing in his first professional goal in his ninth top flight appearance. Well, Leslie Latoa went on a mazy run from left to right and couldn't find the net. Half time, and it was looking bad for Dijon, but one bright spark was the knowledge that Caen were a goal down at home to Bordeaux. And Antoine Kumbare brought on name Slitty at the break to freshen things up. Well, coaches earned their crust to turn games. And after risking leaving Gangon for Dijon, Kumbare came up trumps. Name Slitty with brilliant composure. And then they finished the match. Just before the hour mark, a third of the campaign. 26 year old Tunisian, Kevin Flamont Bolmont, hope on the bench. Dijon won their opening three games. They'd only won two since, yet a sixth win was on the cards when Wesley Said picked out Julio Tavares. Well, there was a nervous wait for the VAR decision. Kumbare looking on, but it was ecstatic reaction. And in just three minutes, Dijon had turned this match and the relegation battle on its head. A great escape, very much back on. Well, City then won a free kick and took the resulting set piece, failing to net. But keep it to lose out was the main objective. The 94th minute winner from Kwong Chang Hun at home to Strasbourg in week 36 was the only reason the muster men were still fighting on the final day. But Tavares's strike confirmed Dijon leapfrogging Caen to relegate the Normans and face a two-legged playoff with Domino Ligue 2's Lens.